Hey guys, what is going on? It is Ando. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Today we have another Galactic Challenge video. If you guys are new to these, I like to use my alt account. It's usually at gear levels that like you're seeing on the screen. Um, lower gear levels, lower relic levels, not good mods. And so I feel like if I can do it on this account, I can make a video on it and it should encapsulate most people. Uh, the only relic that I have is Darth Vader. He's relic three and you can sell, see his mods make no sense. If I could just, I mean, I could go through all this, like, right, none of these mods really make any sense. I just don't spend much time on my alt. So this is a great account I feel like to run Galactic Challenges on. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Gonna take a quick second and talk about GAC as well. Normally I upload a ton of GAC recaps. I am not gonna be doing that. I'm super busy all through February. The editing time and stuff like that um, just doesn't really lend itself right now. So like I said, expect those probably mid-February, uh, unless there's just like a, a just a great match or something crazy comes up. Um, I sh Maybe I'll be able to, to do one or two of them. But I uh, just wanna let you guys know um, that's why those haven't been uploaded. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this Galactic Challenge. All right, guys, uh, you guys probably, it's gonna be weird. I don't like this and it's always a pet peeve of mine, but like for whatever reason, the sound of the actual sound effects, you know, of like the lightsabers hitting stuff like that, it's not gonna play. Um, it's just not loud enough for it to pick it up. So uh, you guys, I'll probably just have to put some background music so that way it's not so weird. But I want to stop this too here as well because this is a decision point right here. When you start up, right, um, if Padme doesn't do the kick, if she does her basic, probably reset. So she gets her kick off and that's all Shore Trooper is here to do really. If you have a higher gear level Shore Trooper, great. Um, but, it, you know, at, at the end of the day, Shore Trooper is just really there to take that initial barrage. All right, so again, if she does basic protection up, uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the mechanics here. Protection up means you're not gonna score any debuffs. Debuffs are what you need here with Emperor Palpatine to get the, the TM train going. So uh, yeah, this is that would be a huge problem. All right, so um, we're gonna go in. It's Vader's turn. We're gonna force crush onto General Kenobi, right? Go to Merciless, and I get ability blocks, or I try to get ability blocks on Windu, Ahsoka, and um anakin and why it's important in that order um kind of at least is because i'm trying to build up these stacks of uh emperor's trap right from piet and that's going to give you some more potency and really i'm trying to get some ability blocks on padme right so you're going to see i basically try to save her for last if you don't get an ability block here or there guys it's not the end of the world it's not like a win condition that must happen but it is very nice when it does so Windu's ability blocked. We got one on Ahsoka Tano, and we got one on Anakin, right? Those last two are really, really good. Uh, Force Crush on a GK, and then we got one on Padme. Again, if we don't get one, it's it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go into basic on General Kenobi here. Uh, well, I'm checking all around. So I think I did, I did the special there because I wanted to boost my TM to try to get going again. Now, again, if you have faster characters already, then that's not really gonna be a problem. A lot of my characters are gear, you know, eight, nine, whatever. Um, and so they're not gonna be fast. So I need to actually kind of continue to keep the turn meter train going. All right, so you can see Vader though, because of the event special or the event environment, this is damaging him a lot more than he's like actually the benefit of this. So just something for you guys to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, the reason why I did the AOE, again, we have some crit Im hit immunities. I want to try to get rid of those. It is a gamble, though. If you crit, you're going to add more. Uh, so just, just beware of that. Um, okay. So we go ahead and fracture Kenobi. And because... And I want to make this clear. Because I didn't clear off JKA's crit hit immunity... I'm going to go ahead and do a stun, right? If if I didn't, I would just try to basic um, Anakin, and you would see, you'll see why in a second, but just try to get shocked on him, right? Because it, it's going to benefit you. He's not going to be able to get crit hit immunity again. 
Okay, we're going to go for a stun. We do get lucky. We get a tons of stuns. Again, remember, keep in mind who you're targeting whenever you use specials. All right, so we got shock there um, with the leader because they're going to call to assist if you uh, whenever you do specials with the leader. And those give that undispellable protection up. So you see uh, Padme's got it right now. So that move with the snow, snow ops trooper, whatever his name is, that dispels, right? Um, and because we had landed shock on him the turn before with EP, we're able to do that. So however you guys work it out in your turn meter or like in your turn order or like however the, the crit hit immunities land, just remember that that like once you hit land that shock on JKA, you're free to kind of, you, you get a lot more freedom, right? Um, and once he's able to be crit, you're good to go. So again, a lot of times you'll just see me focus in on GK just because he's fractured and I don't care if he gets that undispellable protection up. Now, I'm pointing this out right here because this is super, super, super important, right? Um, if you are stealth, your basic is going to, and the, and the opponent is less than 70% health, which Anakin is meeting that criteria right now. The only thing is, is I am not currently stealth, right? Because, and it's all because I had to use that uh, um, that special to dispel his crit hit immunity. If that had never happened, or if maybe Pietz had already done that, then I could have went stealth first and just killed Anakin outright right here. So this is super, super important guys to remember um, because again, that's huge, right? Because the, the whole premise of this GC is basically you're just trying to gun for each other's leaders, right? But you have to go after JKA first in order because if you don't, he's going to absolutely, uh, as soon as you get her down to, you know, a low, like low level of health, he's going to come in with an AOE or just start killing some important people. So I just wanted to point that out there, guys. If you had stealth, the first time that would have been a kill right there anakin would be dead we could focus on someone else but we couldn't all right so methodical right a lot of a lot of moves here methodical because i have this is this takes a long time i, I also should probably have said that um with, with these gear levels this took a, a little bit you know i probably did close to 10 attempts on this so um again and now i'm just going to try to um add shocked everywhere all right got resisted okay no problem Right, and we want to keep Ahsoka ability block, right? Because any sort of ability that can give protection up, we want to make sure we, we stop that. I don't know what happened there with my game. It just decided to freak out. <laughs> Again, pointing out the fact, like, if we were if we were stealth right now, we would 100% be able to kill um, Anakin. But due to my gear levels, again, I have to mark that Snowtrooper off because he's, like, my most tankiest character. <laughs> And I'm going to pass this over to Vader. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit dicey, but um, I'm deciding that I'm going to, again, go all in, try to build up my Emperor's Trap Stacks. And just try to, you know, again, control, ability blocks, all good things. Just throw the Saber. Okay, we got Anakin down. That's step one. I mean, that's like step one, like, you know, of... The mini steps that would let us up to this point but that that's the most important step from this point you really have a good sh shot at winning you just have to play it kind of right and, and i know that's obvious but um getting him out is very very important okay so ability block ability block didn't get it because he's got protection up and again doesn't matter we have to we have to hit him all right, we're gonna try to get rid of some crit hit immunities. We got lucky, we got rid of a few. Let's try to get some stuns. Again, this is all a lot about control. How, how much can you control this team in order for you to get to Padme eventually? And this is, you can see, like, this is a very delicate situation because my Emperor Palpatine has about, like if, if Mace Windu just accidentally sneezes here, he probably kills my Emperor Palpatine. So just focusing here, um, and at this point, probably looking and trying to see like if the, if he's at seventy percent, he wasn't obviously. So just had to take the uh, the stun, I guess, 
and now um you know with with gk back in fracture um feels like a pretty decent spot and you see how i'm i'm pointing to people that like i don't want the protection up get the shocked on P padme try to get a, a ability block here again control you know you don't want the all these buffs to get cleansed or debuffs to get cleansed we get it luckily right it's kind of a bit of a rng factor there and now because she has shocked on her she can't gain, gain crit hit immunity either so that's nice And we're about ready to go into Merciless again. And at this point, you can see, like, we have a ton of turn meter. So, like, this really is our fight to lose at this point. Um, I just don't want to lose it. So, you see, I'm methodically kind of going around. Again, building up the Emperor's Trap before I go in for an attack. Try to build up the offense. And we have her now at less... Okay, so here's here's a little trick that I also did here. All right, so if you check out the turn meter there, whenever I did that, you know, Thrawn's pretty close to, to full turn meter, right? So I go ahead and go into stealth. And from here, go ahead and try to dispel. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pass turn meter back over, and here's what I was talking about, right? Massive damage. She's done. Okay. So obviously, guys... I have less gear level. If you're able to do that earlier, then go for it. You know, um, there was a few shots there where you can absolutely take out some key players like JKA with your snow trooper. It just kind of hinges upon, hey, how well geared are your characters? Um, you know, I've, like I said, played this, you know, 10, probably 15 times. Sometimes Mace Windu came out of the woodwork and just destroyed my Vader, right? Um, it happens so if what that was the one thing that i noticed between my main and my alt my main has a like heavy gear you know gear to the 12 or something like that 12.5 uh uh short trooper he was able to tank that hit the initial you know call to assist and able to kind of uh recover from there and he would usually end up dying but it would be much later in the fight um which was great because he was always taunting so I didn't need to mark my snow trooper, which meant that he could just kind of go in and um, do the stealth and be able to, to do that massive damage once we got someone down below that 70% threshold. So just want to point that out, guys. Again, hopefully this helps you guys. It can be done with low gear-ish, um, but you'll, you will have to kind of work through this. Um, as you saw, and then you, you know, you're going to have to get some luck a, a little along the way, but it was, it was... It wasn't too bad, right? Um, again, hopefully this helps you guys out. Appreciate your guys' support, and we'll see you guys in the next one.